Welcome to DOS Geek. I'm going to share with you a quick story about working with one of the great pen testers, Bo Weaver. We've had him on the show on Destination Linux, truly a legend in the pen testing world and has some incredible stories. Well, one day I went to the coffee shop with Bo. We were actually having a local Linux Fest event and we got permission from the coffee shop owner to show one of these, as Bo would call it, righteous hacks that we would be able to, for the people that were there that agreed to be a part of this test, be able to mimic the coffee shop's SID, and we would see Bo be able to take over all the traffic that we were doing on our laptops. So Bo did his thing over in the corner. We weren't seeing anything other than at one point our connection drops and then reconnected. And at that point, what we all didn't realize, we thought maybe it was just a blip in the connection because we were connected right back to the SID of Coffee House that maybe the connection just dropped, but really Bo had owned all of our traffic at that point. He was watching everything run across what ended up being like a pineapple device. And this device mimics a SID that's very nearby, overpowers that signal, and you end up connecting to it instead, and then someone can watch your traffic. Well, what's interesting is the reason for this video is I'm doing a tutorial on how you can install a tool EFF created called Ray Hunter. And what this tool is used for is kind of similar, I feel like. What is happening is government organizations, law enforcement organizations are utilizing these cell sites called stingrays. Uh, they're also known as CSS or IMSI catchers. And what these sites do essentially is they mimic a real cell tower and you end up connecting to those devices instead of your cell provider's tower. And as a result, your information, and we don't know fully, EFF doesn't know fully, what kind of information is being gathered, what's being collected, what kind of capabilities it has once you connect to this tower, but certainly all of your traffic is now going through this tower as if it was a legitimate cell site tower. And so this creates a lot of privacy concerns. There are, is some evidence that these may have been used at protests, for instance. This creates a lot of freedom of speech issues. What if you were to take one of these towers and put it outside of journalists' homes that you wanted to find out what big story, a government official wanted to find out what big story they may be cooking up about them. There's lots of violations that this thing could potentially have. And are they getting the proper permits and warrants, most importantly, for these type of towers to be in place, or is this just some technology that the laws haven't caught up with yet? And that's exactly what EFF wants to answer, but they need your help with a tool called Ray Hunter. See so Stingrays and then Ray Hunter, very clever name. And Ray Hunter is something that you can easily, fairly easily install on a little puck like this, little Wi-Fi puck. And I'll have a link to one down below. You can pick them up on eBay, $20, $30. And you install this software and essentially this will go through and check if one of those towers is potentially one of these Stingray towers here. And if it is a Stingray tower, then you can collect some information and potentially get that over to EFF and they can go through those logs and see what law enforcement is doing and potentially get some answers for the rest of us because violations of privacy, very scary thing out there. So with no further ado, we're gonna take this little device. I'm going to show you how to get it set up, show you some of the, I'm gonna set it up on Linux. You can also set it up on Mac OS, and I believe there's instructions for Windows as well, but those are still, uh, I think, kind of in the works. Uh, there've been some issues with that one, but if you got Linux and you're watching this channel, as so you probably do, uh, you're good to go here. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so from the GitHub for Ray Hunter, the first thing we're gonna do is click through the links and get to that tar file so that we can download that and extract that file. Extract it somewhere where you'll be able to easily find it once you get into your terminal. So I am saving this in a specific folder and you're gonna see you get all these different files here, but you gotta run them from the terminal itself. So now in the terminal, I'm gonna make my way into that folder. But first, we've got to actually set up our Orbic device here. So we're gonna put the battery in, in case you didn't know, these things have separate batteries. I know with cell phones, all the batteries are like welded in these days. You're not used to putting a, self, a battery yourself into anything, but this you have to put a battery in. Once you have your battery set up, this is at the point where you connect it USB-C to your computer, you'll get a welcome screen, no service, and that's when you know you're ready for the next step, except 
a lot of stuff gets broken at this point. So we're LSing into the folder. We're trying some of these different install linux.sh, the dot slash sh, nothing's working. So then I notice, and this takes a lot longer than you see here, that there's this additional command of stuff to install. So I go through and install it. Although I should have done it each line individually and not all at once, but that doesn't end up being the major issue here. Now I am using Zorin OS. This is meant for Ubuntu. So maybe in Ubuntu, you can follow their instructions exactly while making sure you install these additional files and ADB, which you need for your Android connection, and you'll be good to go. But for me, you can see I'm trying here and uh, nothing's really working. I keep forgetting that dot slash. Leave it in the comments. Make fun of me. I deserve it. Uh, I was rushing to get this done before the Destination Linux show started so I could show it off on Destination Linux. Now I'm making sure ADB is installed, which it was. So that wasn't the fix. Um, seeing if ADB is recognizing any of the devices. And it starts the daemon, but uh, doesn't list any devices attached. So still an issue with recognizing this particular hockey puck Wi-Fi hotspot. Finally get the bright idea, hey, maybe I should do each of those commands it gave individually just to, you know, make sure. And sure enough, uh, that secondary file, I believe, did something extra, but still no cigar work around. I finally found, which I'll have a link in the show notes for running it on Debian. And this is using cargo. And once you use cargo and you follow these steps in the workaround, line by line, don't do them all at once. Like I did with that first command, you'll be good to go. So the key really is uh, to go to their setup page, download the tar, Make sure you follow their steps for things that you need installed. Make sure ADB is installed. Then do this workaround if you get the same errors that you see I have here. And you'll see it starting our Ray Hunter server now. And we can actually go over uh, to that address, that local host address. And we'll be able to now actually see our little server running. And you see lots of start pages there. Lots of searching for answers till I found it in the workaround page on their GitHub. But in any case, you can see we've started and we're starting to grab some packets here. By the way, the PCAP uh, files and things that you can download from this, you can open those in Wireshark. And so you can actually view what those files are doing. And that's it, my friends. That is how easy it is to get set up with this device. Uh, I went through it really quickly on super fast speed because you probably don't want to see me installing uh, all the commands. But down in the notes below, I'll have the key sections for you. But I wanted you to see me go through the pain of making mistakes because nobody's perfect. I've been doing this stuff forever, setting these little things up and connecting with ADB to my phones and look how much trouble it caused me. But I still got ready before the show. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains.